Friends saying fake, they all dead to me. I was sleeping with a strap right next to me. Don't compare me to these mo Today, we're joined by Jude. And Jude's going to be telling his explosive story of growing up Ooh. in Dublin. Shout out to me, man and dad, who aren't here anymore. Hey, I just had to do that. Brief us on where you come from in Dublin. Eh, I grew up in Bluebell. Uh, in morning, my mum went down to the fucking, uh, to get nappies because my little sister had a dirty nap again. We were all sleeping, but when my mum went there, I heard a fucking door around. So I went into the kitchen, found a box of matches, took the matches, went under the bed. One bedroom fucking flat, four levels up. Fires on the windows. Uh, let a match round and within seconds, man, the fucking gap went up. You know what I mean? I hadn't got time to think. I seen a crate, a milk crate in the fucking hall. So I quickly turned it upside down, emptied all the bottles on the stud and I opened the fucking door. As soon as I opened the door, boom, blew me off onto the balcony. Still in touch with the people back home in Cherry Orchard, Bally Farm at Dublin 10. There's not a housing estate in Europe as fucking insane as my city. I'm going through the flats and this prick, right? I lived in Bl and I was like, oh, look, this fuck I used to give me an awful time, man. He seen me, man. And I knew he was going to, he wouldn't give it back to me. He was going to ask me for a goal, but I give it to him. He didn't give it back to me, right? So I said, can I have my skateboard? And he just went, crack, right into the fucking nose, right? So, uh, they were all laughing at me and mocking me and all. So I ran into me nans. Now, take into consideration, I was seven, right? So I went into me fucking nannies, yeah? I got a light, all right? The next day I seen the cunt and I was like, right, I'm either going to have to avoid this fuck off or the entire process of me living on this housing complex. Or I'm going to have to do something. So I said, fuck it. I goes out and he's sitting in the car in the flats. So I just crept up around and don't ask me what I thought had happened. Or, like I said, a seven. So I lit a piece of paper, snuck up, put it in the petrol tank, snuck back. And it must, I thought it was about a bit longer than five minutes. And I'm like, what the fuck? I went over around and looked in the petrol tank. Yeah, you know that sound and backdraft where that sucking sound? Boom! Mm -hmm. Fucking... Oh, he's fucked 10 feet in the air, yeah? On fire, yeah? I'll tell you one thing. He never fucking picked on me again, the prick. I, like I said, he, I was wild. And any of me friends back home, can, the ones that are still alive, and the ones that, even the ones down life sentence, 15 or 16 of them, for murder. It was an old battered weapon. And fucking thing, you had the cocker with a screwdriver, right? We nicked the bell. 20 shells, right? Now, as you know, round and right, shotgun cartridges come in maybe five, five six different ones. You have books, right? You have, listen. <laughs> so, I just one mate, right? And he was just fucking reckless, you know? So, we went up there shooting targets. I'm not going to say what the fucking target was. So, we're up there, we're well, busting a few shots, like you fucking do at 13. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking does that. Eh. Uh, Anyway, so me mate, he's fucking with about 30 yards away from him, yeah? And he's looking in that direction, and I'm like, if the hit's gonna go off, man, you fucking point it over that way, don't fucking point at me. He's doing that with the fucking script, round and the thing went off. There was buckshot in it. I got hit a few times. He may got hit a few times. I, I think I got hit three or Three or four times, a couple of times in the leg, in the arm, you know what I mean? I was sitting there, you know what I mean? My mate thought it was hilarious. My other mate was on the fucking railway line. And he caught him in the eye. Uh, I think in the mouth, under, underneath here, like fucking in the jaw, in the fucking neck. At the time, I was mad into dance music. Ecstasy had just hit the mm -hmm. stop fucking arguing. And I was offered... A job in a particular nightclub in the mm -hmm. centre of Dublin. It was Dublin's Hacienda. Uh, now, at the time, like I said, I'm from the south side, yeah? So, I went on to the fucking north side in the centre of town, walking in a fucking nightclub. All my mates know back home, and it's like, from 15, I was surrounded by gangsters. They come from death, violence, death, prison, lifers. 